What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to get into another video here on the install of my trolling motor on the Recon 120 kayak. Um, in the last video, what we did is we did all the uh, wiring on the kayak and we got that all done. Well, I've gotten some more done on it and I'm going to show you guys in this video exactly where we're at with the install. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, well, it's about 20 degrees outside here in New Jersey. We actually have snow flurries going right now. I'm in my garage, which is not heated. I have a heater going. It currently says it's about 45 degrees, hence why I'm wearing my Cast King wool hat. But I, I, I'll tell you, I'm getting excited because we're starting to get temperatures showing into the 40s and 50s. And well, we're getting close to that fishing season and I'm trying to get this kayak done, so let me show you what I've been doing. We built our PWM. That's the one thing that, one of the things that I've done so far, and I'm not going to get all scientific on it, but PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulator, and what this is going to do is let you efficiently control your trolling motor without wasting any of the power, and it's going to extend the life of your battery because of it. Uh, there's a ton of videos on how to build these. Um, I'll take you for a closer look on exactly what I did. First of all, this box itself I got from Walmart. It was like 10, 11, 12 bucks, something like that. I don't exactly remember, but it's waterproof. It's got a latch here on the side. Um, so I'll take you in for a look at the actual inside of this. You can see two wires coming out. This side over here where my pinky is, that is what connects to your motor on the other side here that's what's going to connect to your battery power so we'll open this up and i'll show you guys give you guys a better look we'll plug it in and i'll show you how it works so here is our pwm you could see i have wires coming out with grommets now this grommet kit i just got from harbor freight really cheap um it's a whole kit but with this waterproof case with your pwm you're going to need to cut a spot for your switch which is going to be forward and reverse and then you have your knob here that will control speed you know from zero up to a hundred so let's open this up we're going to open that up and you will see in here there's the wires pwm it shows you right on there the left side here is going to be motor. The right side is power. So motor is just a positive and a negative that's going to go back to your trolling motor. And on the right, you have a positive and you have a negative that's just going to go to your battery. Very simple and uh, easy hookup. You have wires here. One is from obviously um, your switch here for forward and reverse and then for power. So in our last video, we installed these SAE ports here. The left side runs to your trolling motor. The right side runs to the battery. Now on our PWM here, you can see, remember I said the left side runs to trolling motor. So this plug is going to come straight over here, plug into the port for the trolling motor and the right side is going to run from here and that's going to run over into the battery. You'll see in our last video behind our seat, we installed this port here as well in which that runs battery power that's going to run from here to this side here so we got battery power in here runs through the kayak to this port now out of this port we have an sae plug which has two wires that go into my kayak crate here this is a diy kayak crate if you guys are interested in that um you can check it out um i'm in my playlist yeah, listen under kayak i have a bunch of videos diy videos on kayak stuff in there but you can see the wires coming through here again those grommets that i got the kit from from harbor freight and then we have our positive and negative wiring for that so let's get the battery hooked up in here and installed and we will get this motor up and running we have our battery installed as you can see i am running a 50 amp hour 
lithium battery. And I'm curious just to see as to how long that battery is going to last in the kayak, running the trolling motor for a day's worth of fishing. So I'm going to put that to the test. And then obviously when we do that, I'll keep you guys updated to show you how well that that PWM performs. But now let me take you in and I'll show you how this PWM works. So again, PWM installed, hooked up to the motor, hooked up to battery power. We have battery power up to here through the kayak into the crate hooked up to the battery and back to the trolling motor in which here we have the cord for the trolling motor and that is plugged into here. So now we are going to take this. We're going to kick this on forward. We're going to turn this up barely and I'm going to show you that this is barely spinning. We're adjusting the speed faster and faster. All the way up to full speed. Now, if for some reason that the PWM fails when I'm out on the water, what I've done to, you know, kind of fix that issue is I made a jumper cable. Now, basically it's just, um, two SAE plugs, one on each end. And what I can do is I can unplug the PWM. I can quickly take this, plug this in from the motor port into the battery port. And then I have hundred percent full power just going from the battery to the trolling motor. I won't be able to control speeds, but it's better than being, you know, miles away possibly and having to paddle back. So we can actually still use the trolling motor with this and that's how that's gonna work. One of the other things I had to do is I had to get this trolling motor how I wanted it set up. So what I had to do is, is I had to remove the head off the top of the trolling motor. I had to get rid of a couple wires because we only need the power and the ground out of the top of that. So I'll show you what I did with that. So I removed the head off. I've got this three quarter inch PVC elbow here in which I had to heat it up with a heat gun and then you can actually push it onto the shaft of this and it'll actually open up the PVC fitting here. What I did then is I just drilled a quarter inch hole and then I just put this eye bolt through there. Up along the side of my seat, I have a piece of paracord that runs through factory installed plastic tubing here but I have a handle here. Now this handle, <laughs> originally I had a piece of PVC pipe that I just drilled a hole through and then I just put a knot in it. But then I remembered I had a broken weed whacker. So I took the handle off of that and I installed it on this. So handle through here comes the paracord that runs all the way through here through the plastic tubing. And that paracord comes out right here. Now, out of there, we go up to our clip where the head of the trolling motor used to be and down to this piece right here. Check this out. Now, this piece right here was 3D printed by a buddy of mine and it works absolutely awesome. We got the, I found the, uh, a video actually on YouTube. I'm not sure who the guy was that has this piece, but I will tell you, it works like a charm. Now in the video, he uses this piece and um, it's used on a Minn Kota trolling motor. And I figured, hey, let's just print it out and let's see if we can get it to fit on the Newport Vessels trolling motor. And it fits absolutely perfect. So what it does is it sits inside the tilt lock in here. And I just drilled a couple holes through the, the lock here on the trolling motor and just ran a zip tie around it just to kind of hold it in place a little stronger. I have a clip here. And I'm gonna show you guys how this works. What's gonna happen is you pull the handle and it will actually engage that lock, the release. So you pull it, it engages that lock there, and then we can pull our trolling motor up out of the water. How this works, we pull the handle, it engages that lock release there, 
and then you pull it straight up and motor is out of the water. Let it back down, locks into place. That's it. Such a simple part that you're able to use on your kayak to fix the problem how to get your motor tilted out of the water. And I've seen all kinds of videos where people are trying to figure out how to get their motors up out of the water and tilted. And I've seen all kinds of pulley systems and lines run all over the place. And this is so simple and so easy. And luckily I had somebody who could print that for me. Again, I don't remember exactly who the guy was that I saw the video for, but this does fit Minn Kota trolling motors. It fits the Newport Vessels trolling motors. And I'm actually surprised that there isn't a company printing these out for trolling motors for people's kayaks because it is so effective and it, it's, it works so well. So I think I'm gonna see if he can print me another one that I'm gonna have to purchase off of them, but I'm gonna see if he can print me another one so that I have one that just as a backup, just God forbid this is broke. Like I said, I probably lifted and dropped this motor 50 times using this and I haven't had any issues and he did print it with a high quality plastic. I don't know all the plastic terms and what exactly he used, but it, it works awesome. So that I am excited about. There is one other thing I could show you that I did do. I purchased and I installed a metal um, steering piece here. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I opted to go with metal because I just figured it's just gonna be more, to depe more dependable and it's not gonna break like possibly some of the plastic ones will. And you can see where the foot pedals go. You can see here, let's see if I can get you zoomed in. We have tubes that come in on both sides and then I'll just run the lines directly to this steering kit here, this steering uh, triangle, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And that will control the steering for the trolling motor. So we have all the electric done. We have our tilt function on our trolling motor done and we have our PW, PWM done. So now the last step is to get these foot braces, foot pedals, whatever you want to call them. And uh, that seems to be the only problem I have right now because there is two companies that I've seen that make basically the, basically the same ones, Select and Sea Dog. Um, they both make uh, pedals that will fit these kayaks and they are uh, for foot pedal steering. And I can't seem to find them in stock anywhere. So. I reached out to both companies and I actually haven't heard from either one yet. It was a couple days ago I sent it. So hopefully eventually they'll let me know where I can get it. Everywhere else that I've checked, out of stock. So Bixby actually has them, but Bixby's, they, they look exactly like the Select and the Sea Dogs, except the Bixby ones are like $90 compared to $40 that the Select and Sea Dog ones are. So I may have to jump into the Bixby ones Maybe I just will find or get an email from Sea Dog or Select. And Amazon used to have them. I don't see them on there anymore. They say out of stock. So maybe they'll come in stock again and then we can finish up the whole motorizing or kayak build on that. For now, that's going to be it. That's where we are at with motorizing the kayak. Again, we're late February now. It's only 20 degrees out. I'm not gonna be using my kayak soon. Um, the season should be here though really soon so I can actually get on the water and test this out. But I'm pretty excited with the way this is coming along and um, how clean this installation and this setup is. Now again, everything that I've used, I will link down in my, in my description so you can check it out if there's anything that you're interested in. You can purchase it right through my links. It'll help me out to help build this channel a little bit better if you do purchase through my Amazon links, but that's about it. So, oh, real quick. I know I mentioned the grommet kit. I'm just gonna show you guys this grommet kit from Harbor Freight. Guys, this grommet kit, it comes with all different sizes you can see in there. I wanna say that this kit was like five bucks, super cheap. So if you have a Harbor Freight around you, and you need some grommets because you're running wires, check that out, five bucks, you can't beat that. Uh, great find and why not just have them around your house? Maybe you'll do some work on your truck, you know, whatever, running wires or boats, cars, whatever, kayaks, what have you. Five bucks worth having in my opinion, cheap enough. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I, I, I'm getting excited. I'm ready for this fishing weather to get here. 
I have uh, a bunch of stuff to do. I have more videos that I'm making for my kayak. I have some more stuff that I need to purchase because there's some more things that I want for it, but I'm excited for kayak fishing this year. This is probably my favorite setup I've ever had as far as a kayak goes, and especially on this kayak. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting closer. So like I said, I'll link everything down in my description if there's anything you wanna see, but for now, that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>